my stock market bulls and bears. I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, Buy the Dip. That's right, guys. This is the channel where we say you never marry a stock, you just date it because we're all about getting those profits. You never lose when you take profits. So, in today's video, you guys requested it, and we're here to talk about Genius Brand. But there is some updates we do got to go over, and I just wanted to kind of talk about this stock. So, I did, guys, if you follow the channel, I had an options contract on this. I bought back when this stock was down in the dip, down like $1.40 maybe I bought it. And I went ahead and exercised my options contract. So as you can see, I have no options on this now. And I now have 1,200 shares at an average cost of $1.59. I'm currently up 10.79%. I'm up 205 bucks. So we're up 10% on this investment. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I just wanted to go ahead and buy those. I bought those 100 shares for $100. So that was totally worth it. So it brought my average cost down if you compare it to the last time I covered Genius Brand. So I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. If this thing gets a pop, man, we could be setting pretty good. So the first thing I did want to go here and cover, guys, that was the update. Oh, and real quick, it is almost literally one year ago uh, in two days since I made my first Genius Brands purchase. I went back on my Robinhood history and July the 5th of 2020 was the first time I sold a cash secure put on Genius Brands and I bought my shares off that cash secure put. So pretty exciting that we're on the one year anniversary of owning Genius Brands from my first ever purchase. And of course, as time went on, I bought in more as it was dropping. You know, Genius Brands kind of came from like $5 down to a dollar. And now we're kind of in this rise back up. A lot of great news. So, real quick, if you didn't know, Cartoon Channel debuts the first ever Christmas in July, presented by Chuck E. Cheese. Now, guys, I find that pretty cool that they are teaming up in a sense with Chuck E. Cheese on this. I think that is pretty phenomenal. And here it says the week of holiday themed special kicks off on. July 2nd, so yesterday, there it is. So here it says, they announced the premiere of Christmas in July on Cartoon Channel, presented by Chuck E. Cheese, and featuring a bonanza of holiday-themed series, specials, and movies from July 2nd through July 11th. And here it says, the Christmas in July kicks off with part one of two of a two-part world premiere of Stan Lee's superhero kindergarten holiday special, starring Art Schwarzenegger. Every day of the week, a new holiday-themed co-viewing content will be available from special holiday episodes of the Madeline Babar, Rainbow Rangers, The Enchanted Tales, The Night Before Christmas, and The Enchanted Tales of Christmas L. So, pretty exciting stuff there, guys. That is pretty much a quick update on this. Uh, I just wanted you to kind of get a quick rundown of this one here. Now, there is two kind of articles out here right now. If you see this one here on the... Yahoo Finance, there's kind of one that's positive and one maybe not as positive. So we just want to cover them here real quick. So this one, where do the hedge funds stand on Genius Brands? This was published on June 30th. And this here says that the, here at Insider Market, they have gone over 866 13F filings that hedge funds and prominent investors are required to file by the SEC. The 13F filing showed the funds and investor portfolio positions as of March 31st. In this article, we look at those funds of Genius Brands International. And if we scroll down here, it says, Heads Fund interest was flat at the end of the last quarter. This is usually a negative indicator. Our calculations also show Genius isn't among the 30 most popular stocks among hedge funds. That was for Q1 rankings. The level and the change in the hedge fund's popularity aren't the only variables you need to analyze and to cipher hedge funds perspectives. Now, if we get on here, I think it kind of talks more about um, the percentages and things like that. You know, the stock's been kind of beat up, guys. We all, I think we're all pretty aware about that. And it goes down here. Do, you, do hedge funds think Genius is a good stock to buy now? At the first quarter and a total of six of the hedge funds tracked by Insider Monkey held long positions in this stock. A change of 0% from the fourth quarter of 2020, the graph below displays a number of hedge funds with bullish positions in Genius over the last 23 quarters. So let's review 
which hedge funds are among the top holders of this stock, and which hedge funds are making big moves. So here you can see um, we have six large hedge funds now holding Ingenious Brand. Now, among these funds, Citadel Investment Group held the most valuable stake in Genius Brand. That there, guys, I thought Citadel was like the one shorting stocks, but for some reason, they hold the most valuable stake in Genius Brand. And it says here, which was worth $3.2 million at the end of the fourth quarter. On the second spot was Citadel Investment Group, which massed $1.4 million worth of shares. Millennium Management and Peak Six Capital Management, Prelude Capital, were also very fond of the stock, becoming one of the largest head fund holders in the company. So I do find that very funny, guys, that Citadel is one of the biggest holders of Genius Brands, and they're the ones out here like, shorting AMC and things like that. So I do find that kind of very interesting. Now, this here was an article out on Marketing Centennial and Genius Brands International continues to thrive in 2021 as it's up 28.99% year to date. So it is up if you bought this back in January, you're saying year to date, this is up basically 29%. So if we scroll down here, I think there was the one thing here. It talks about the trading information. It says here that it really hasn't been traded too much. There's not much volume going on. It's not really kind of, you know, in a sense, being bought up too much. So it's kind of being overlooked. And I don't know if there'll be a point when you got the retail versus the big hedge funds. And when all this money comes out of GME, AMC, and things like that, it's going to possibly a bulk of it come back into the market. Now, will some of that come into Genius Brands? Now, here it says the biggest investors of Genius Brands. Genius Brands International's insiders own 4.84 of the total outstanding shares, while institutional holders control 18.707%, with the float percentage being 18.99%. Vanguard Group, the largest shareholder of the company, while 97 institutions owned the stock as of March 30th, 2021, the company held over 12.81 million shares or 4.26 of all shares, a total value of 24.85 million in shares. The next largest institutional holding with 6.45 million shares is the Susquehanna International Group. They have about 2.15% of the share, valued at roughly 12.52 million. So a lot of great information here. And I kind of went here onto the Fintel website. And here you see they have the industry of genius brands as motion picture, film, and videotape production. I find that kind of cool in a sense. I mean, I know they're all about that. I think it's kind of cool. They have all three of those categories in here. And as this updated, we have 81 institutional buyers. We have 28, uh, people that opened positions. Now, there was one back here on June 23rd. They bought 209,000 shares. You got um, the Vanguard institutional stock bought 237 shares. Now this one here that bought 209, that was a new position. It says here, the green rows indicate new positions. The red rows are the ones that in, in, uh, indicate sold positions. So here's where Citadel bought 1.644 million shares on 521. They bought more. So they did buy apparently some options contract. Those are currently locked, but right there it is. Citadel bought again more shares after, you know, that recent went back there in March. So pretty interesting stuff that Citadel is a holder. And you can see back here, a lot of big of these Corporations buying this up at a dollar, dollar fifty, guys, dollar, you know, under two bucks. Look at this here. Vanguard Group, 12.8 million shares. Woo! Back in May the 14th, man. People is loading this up. So there could be a time and point where Genius Brands gets a push. I mean, it's just a lot of great stuff out there. I mean, we talked about this. They got the Stanleys going on. We got Shaq's Garage coming on. 
Uh, I do know Genius Brands has been getting shorted a lot. If we go here to the short interest real quick before we wrap this up. Look at this here updated, man. This is nuts. So this is like your daily revolving short volume ratio in a sense. Now, the latest market date was yesterday, July the 2nd. The short volume of shares 1.18 million. The market volume was only 145,000 shares. 812% short volume ratio. Like what? What? Now, the short borrow rate fee is only 1.79%. They did give us that on here. Guys, I am looking to um, get the upgraded premium version of Fintel after we can get some money accumulated. I want to get this program to give you guys the more updated information. Now, as you can see here on these updates, there is most of the days around 20%, 28%, 22% is kind of an average rolling daily short volume. So Genius Brands can kind of be in that short position as well. And all right, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, Hit the thumbs up. Check out the links down below. We're getting that Patreon restarted. Thank you to everyone that is going to join the Patreon. And guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.